Hello everyone, for today's magic card trick tutorial, I thought it'd be neat to share with you a trick that only involves eight cards, and this is called eight cards card across, okay? So it just involves eight regular cards out of the deck. There's nothing special about these cards. And you can mix them up, you can have a spectator mix them up, it really doesn't matter. Um, they can be well mixed, and it is a true and free selection, so you can have the spectator just go ahead and select any one of the eight cards that they want. They look at it, okay, remember it, and it's important that they remember the card, okay? Now you can have them place their card back into uh, the stack of cards, okay? And now I'm just going to give the packet just a little shuffle here, just mixing up the order, and I'll even do it one more time, okay? So now the cards are completely mixed up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select, or I'm gonna separate the eight cards into two piles of four cards each, okay? So for the first pile, and now if the spectator sees their card, I want them just to note which pile it is in. I do not want them to tell me uh, what their card is or when they see their card, etc. Okay, so if they see their card, just remember what pile it's in. Okay, so for the first pile, um, we'll have the two of hearts, the seven of spades, the five of hearts, and the ten of spades. Okay, so the first stack of cards will go here, and that leaves me with one, two, three, four cards. Okay, so the second pile will have the ace of clubs, the king of hearts, the nine of clubs, and the jack of clubs. Okay, and so we'll put these cards just right here. Okay, two piles, uh, two stacks of cards, one pile has their card in it. Now I'm going to ask the spectator which pile um, their card is in, and they're going to point to the first pile, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to make your card I'm gonna pull your card out of this pile, turn it face up, and throw it into this pile, okay? Did you see it happen? Well, no, because I haven't done it yet. Okay, so I'm gonna take one card out of this pile, place it into this pile face up, just like magic, boom, it's done. Now, for the first time, the first time only, I'm gonna ask the spectator what their card was, and they're gonna say my card was the seven of spades, and I'm gonna say, okay, it was in this first pile, there's only three cards in this pile, and there is no seven of spades in this pile, and over here in this pile, there is now five cards and boom, look at that. The seven of spades is face up in this pile of cards, okay? And that's eight cards, cards across. Now, before I tell you how to do it, please, as always, like and subscribe to this video. I really appreciate it. It really helps this channel out. I uh, hope everybody's having a, a good new year and had a happy new year. Um, also, if you haven't gotten one for Christmas or if you're uh, thinking about still buying one, there's still time to get one of these uh, magic calendars for the year 2024. It's um, pictures of vintage magic posters. Um, they're a real hit and they're really neat. People like them. There's a blank page in the back for notes and you can get one of these at thebestmagicshop.com, okay? Also, check out thebestmagicshop.com where you can find some awesome new magic tricks, accessories, shirts, bags, and more for yourself or anyone who just likes magic. And now for the tutorial, eight cards, cards across, okay? So it's a kind of simple trick. It involves two slights that you're just gonna have to practice and get used to. Um, it is eight just regular cards, okay? You can just pull them out of the deck, it doesn't matter. Just try not to get any matching cards like the Seven of Spades, you don't want the Seven of Spades and the Seven of Clubs in here. It just uh, confuses people. So just kind of get, you know, eight different number cards. You can get some of the numbers that are the same, but if you do like two jacks, make sure one's a club and one's a heart, you know, one black, one red. Just don't get any kind of matching cards in this. It just makes the trick easier for the spectator, but it really doesn't matter. It's just any eight cards, okay? So to start off, I'm just gonna show you just exactly what I did. There's probably a different couple ways of doing this trick. Um, have the spectator just select any card that they want. True and free selection. They look at it, remember it, don't show you. Now you have them put their card back um, fourth from the bottom of the deck, okay? So all I did was I just dealt out three cards, any three cards, and just say, you know, place your card back right here. So you have three cards in your hand. Now they place their card on top. So now it's fourth from the bottom and then just place the other cards on top, okay? So that sets their card up to be fourth from the bottom, okay? Now you say you're just gonna mix up the cards a little bit and you do a mix, you do, uh, the first mix you do is you peel off three cards, the second mix you do, you peel off four cards, okay? So that'll set up the trick so it's um, always gonna be in the same place 
uh, when you flip the cards over, okay? So you just say you're gonna mix up cards. You just take one, two, three cards off the top, place them on the bottom, okay? And then do the four cards, just say you're gonna mix them up again one more time, and you just take four cards off, and that takes them off the top and places them on the bottom, okay? So now you're set up, so when you show that, that you're gonna separate the cards into two different piles, you take the bottom four cards, flip them face up on top of the top four cards, okay? So you have something that looks like this. Their card now will always be this second card. So with the middle grip, which is just holding um, the cards like this with the, your middle finger holding the top and the thumb holding the bottom, and this is my right hand, this is my left hand, you're gonna peel off one card and you're explaining that you're gonna separate the cards into two piles. If they see their card, don't say anything, but just know what pile of the cards it's gonna be in, okay? So you show that you have the king of hearts. Now the second card, this is gonna be their card and you just say the ace of clubs. When you peel it off, get a break with your pinky, okay? So you have a break underneath their card. And then when the third card you're gonna peel off, the 10 of spades, you're gonna peel the 10 of spades off and this is where you're gonna to have to practice and you're gonna clip their card at that break and separate the stack. So you show that you just counted off the 10 of spades, but now you have their card, which is now face up in this stack of cards, okay? So you just stole it from that one stack and placed it on the other one, okay? So when you do the move, it'll look like you're just counting off the cards but you're counting off the king of hearts, okay? Now their card, the ace of clubs, get the break, and then go back, peel off the 10 of spades, clip that card, so now it's in the bottom of um, this stack here, and then uh, repeat one more time and just say the jack of clubs. Square these cards up and just place them down on the table, okay? Uh, you can put a card box on top of them or if you want or have them put their hand on top of it if you want. Um, it doesn't matter, I just like to leave them just on the table if you have a table. Uh, surface. Okay, so now what you're left with after you stole that card from the break and now it's on the bottom face up, you have five cards in this pack, but you're going to show that you only have four. And then to do that, you say, I only have four. Now I have four cards in this deck. You peel off the top card, place it in your hand, peel off the second card, place it, just drop it in your hand. So you have two cards here. This stack still has three cards in, and then just halfway peel off that top card and just show that this is four cards and what this really is is two cards okay but you're just holding it um with uh, the thumb and this is my ring finger okay so you just say i have four cards one more time one two three four cards okay just kind of pivot this out and that should hold that double pretty good okay and then drop these three cards on top which will set you up into this order so now their cards face up in the middle of this packet, okay? Square these cards up, just turn them face over, and then now what you're gonna do is another move where you're just gonna show that you have four cards and they're all face up. And to do this, what I like to do is I like to position my ring finger and my middle finger just kinda at the corner of all the cards here because it kinda helps square them up a little bit, and it just takes a little bit of practice to, to do this move. Um, I believe it's called the Ascani Spread. So you pull off the top card with your thumb, okay? But don't place it into your left hand. And then with your pointer finger, you're just um, peeling off the bottom card and showing it. And then the next card from the bottom, you're peeling off with your middle finger, okay? So you're just spreading out. And then this is where my ring finger and my middle finger, if they're just on the corner of this card, it keeps them squared up, okay? To just show that it looks like one card. So the Ascani spread is just peeling one off and then on the bottom with your pointer and your middle finger and then just holding this double card with you know these two fingers or into the corner like that, okay? So the Ascani spread, you say you have four cards here in this pile, two of hearts, five of hearts, seven of spades, nine of clubs. You're just gonna place these on the table after you square them up and now you're all set, okay? Then you just do little patterns, say I'm gonna take you, you know, ask them what pile their card was in. You know it was in this one, but they should always tell you before you tell them that you know. They'll point to this one. They'll say, I'm going to take one of these cards out, turn it face up, place it in this stack, this pile of cards here. And, you know, did you see it go? No, because I didn't do it yet. And then you just snap your fingers, just like magic. Boom, it went. 
and then for the first time, then you ask them what their card was, they'll tell you, you spread these out, show that there's only three cards here, and their card is not here, then you just fan these out, and boom, there's their card, the Ace of Clubs, and they're all regular cards, and everything can be examined, okay? So that's eight cards, card across. Uh, once again, I hope everybody had a happy new year, and thank you for watching, and we'll look forward to another year, and until next time.